Not all battles are fought with lethal force on a battlefield. Military operations often require a more unconventional, non-lethal approach, one that uses the power of influence to strategically shape and change attitudes, values, and beliefs. Trained in influence techniques, psychological operation soldiers, also known as PSYOP, are experts in their field. Using their unique skills, they plan, analyze, design, disseminate, and evaluate actions and messages across a range of military operations. Typically operating in small autonomous teams or with other special operations and conventional forces, PSYOP soldiers support commanders, U.S. ambassadors, allies, and other governmental agencies. Psychological operations, you know, that's the future of conflict, you know, whether from a strategic or anti-insurgency standpoint. Psychological operations in the whole mental field is really going to be where that fight is. PSYOP soldiers utilize a variety of techniques and unconventional capabilities such as cultural expertise, language proficiency, and advanced communication techniques to influence foreign audiences and develop relationships with a country's civilian population, government figures, military, and law enforcement. They can also be essential to disaster relief and humanitarian assistance operations using mobile loudspeakers, leaflet drops, and other broadcast means to convey life-saving information to populations who are cut off from communications. Psychological operations are all about communication, how to be personable with people, how to interact, and how to deal with people, and this course is definitely adding to my repertoire for that, and then as well as helping me in my civilian job be able to deal with my boss and clientele. PSYOP soldiers must be versatile, agile leaders with the ability to think critically and analyze problems and situations. Additionally, they must be physically fit, technically and tactically proficient, have strong communication skills, and be mentally resilient. To become a PSYOP soldier, you must obtain qualifying scores on both the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery and the Defense Language Aptitude Battery and be airborne qualified or willing to volunteer for training. Enlisted soldiers must be eligible for a secret clearance. Officers must be eligible for a top secret clearance. Active duty PSYOP training begins with an 11-day Psychological Operations Assessment and Selection course at the U.S. Army JFK Special Warfare Center and School before beginning the qualifying training course. Candidates will undergo intense physical fitness training, psychological assessments, and individual as well as team problem-solving scenarios. Experiences that you can have with the airborne training, the language training, that foreign experience, and the qualifications that you get in this schoolhouse completely sold me on it. The active duty training pathway is conducted in five phases lasting 44 to 45 weeks. Training includes instruction in areas such as PSYOP planning, theories of influence, foreign language, cultural awareness, and propaganda analysis focused on the student's designated area of operations. A two-week orientation program kicks off the course and is designed to provide an overall understanding of military psychological operations. Here, soldiers learn the history of psychological operations and special operations forces, along with other key psychological concepts. The second phase of training, PSYOP Core, serves as a 10-week foundation on the core doctrine and methodologies of psychological operations. During this phase, soldiers learn the framework of behavioral science theories of influence, and the key anatomy of PSYOP planning. Soldiers also learn core skills in human engagement and advanced interpersonal communications, along with skills in demographic and target audience analysis and adaptive leadership techniques. Here in this particular training course, the Military Occupational Specialty, or just the MOS course, I can't speak highly enough of the cadre from everything from doing the target audience analysis to the series to just understanding some of the base behavioral and psychological mechanisms behind why people and groups work the way they are. Um, I think it's just been absolutely fantastic. The next part of the PSYOP journey includes eight weeks of advanced special operations skills training. In the third phase of training, conducted over four weeks, Active duty officers and enlisted personnel hone newly acquired skills and learned abilities that are essential to aid and bolster ongoing special operations missions. The fourth phase of training will focus on unconventional warfare, the dynamics of insurgencies, and understanding social resistance movements. 
the previous weeks of training is then tested over a multi-tiered culmination exercise known as Black Knight. The final phase and longest portion of PSYOP qualification is language training. This 25-week phase is designed to give soldiers basic speaking and listening proficiency in a foreign language. Culture training is important because to effectively operate within the human domain, you have to be aware of the cultural nuances, sensitivities, and vulnerabilities that we as professional influencers can hone in on and exploit for uh, influencing the desired behavior change. For the reserve component, enlisted applicants go to Fort Jackson, South Carolina for 11 weeks of PSYOP training before returning to their home station. For your psychological operations for a reserve component, once you graduate, you return out to the force where you have the opportunities to go to an airborne unit and get, get on jump status and go to airborne school. Additionally, you have the opportunity to go to a cultural language proficiency program. So you take a test and based on your uh, aptitude on that, you're able to go in and study a language on the Army's dime. They often work in environments that do not require the wear of military uniform and conduct training and mission preparation to meet operational needs. As a PSYOP soldier, you'll become an expert in influencing activities, cultural relations, and have the opportunity for advanced specialized training. Become one of the Army's most skilled and specialized experts in influencing foreign audiences, a psychological operations professional. Persuade. Change. Influence.